Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69 and uh, welcome back to channel. Today we're going to be looking at the AMX uh, first prototype that has returned to Blitz stores. Now this is a fantastic tank, it is the tier 9 French medium tank. Um, it's, if I'm honest, it's probably a better AMX 30B. It plays very similar, it's got the same gun depression, a uh, little bit less alpha, a bit less uh, DPM, um, but it hasn't got that great big hatch on top. Um, it's a really, really nice tank, and it's my favourite tier 9 uh, since I bought it. It has been for sale quite a few times. Um, Stat-wise, it's, I mean, with all the other mediums in tier 9, this is like the third uh, worse. It's, there's only a couple of tanks that is less uh, DPM than this, which I can't remember off my heart. T54E1, I think, and uh, I can't remember the other one. Um, so the DPM isn't it isn't great, uh, but it's not bad. It's not like it's not bad. Um, it's okay, um, but it really is a lovely, lovely tank. 6.7 reload. Um, it has 310 alpha, I, I think it has, um, but it really, it, it does play nice, it's got a nice turret, it has a better turret actually than the 30B, and I really enjoy this tank, and when it first come, I had to get this tank. I played it on my contributor account, and I, I just really wanted to get the tank. Um, so it's for sale, at the time of making this video, I'm not too sure on how much it will be i'm um, assuming it will be gold because it has been for gold most of the other times and you're probably looking at around fifteen thousand gold 15 to eighteen thousand gold i'm not entirely sure at the moment because it's not in store uh, just yet but it will be by the time this video uh, is released so t9 i love this tank so much that i actually played this in the ratings battles and i I, I only played this. Uh, I wanted to get the camo for the, uh, for this, which I have. This is actually I'm playing on, on NA, which I have been playing an awful lot uh, lately on the NA. I've changed my name so I don't get focused at all now on NA. Um, and what I've also do, what I've also done, what um, a video is going to come out. I don't know when it will come out. I'm still gathering some information. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to how do I, it's like a feedback session. So what I did is I changed my name on the NA server. I have a few battles and in them battles, the people that I'm playing against and on my team, I messaged them asking if they know uh, Meezy, uh, what they think of him and uh, do they watch him? And really sort of, is there anything that you would change? So it wasn't me just going on NA, like being big headed, oh, do you know who, who, who Midi is? It's, I went on NA mainly because that is where the majority of my subscribers are. So I just wanted really to get a, a feedback session is anything that I can work on, anything if that I need to change. Um, so I'm gonna do a video on, on that. Um, I'm not sure when, I'm still gathering some, some information. I've also sent a couple of my patrons out on the EU server who also is asking the same question, but on the EU server. Unfortunately, the Asia server, I can't really get on uh, because I don't have a press account there. Um, so I'm only doing it on the NA and on the EU. So if you do get asked, if you're on NA and you do get asked from a random person what I'm like, it probably is me or it's probably one of my patrons. So like I said, it's just to gather information um, if I can change anything, if I need to change anything, uh, etc. Um, so back to the AMX uh, 50, uh, AMX prototype, first prototype, it's, the gun depression is 10 degrees, it's got 10 degrees of gun depression, uh, which is very nice, and with that it has a lovely, lovely turret. Now this battle, it is Castilla, and I, um, this is not a heartbreak battle, because it's not sort of mega damage, um, but I did get annoyed uh, at myself, because I could, this is a loss, uh, we are going to lose, but I do mess up. Uh, badly and it could have easily easily been a win so we are now we're one tank down we've got the t49 down to a one shot 
Uh, the waffle was taken out our Centurion, so we are now two tanks down. And I know where this waffle is. So I'm going to try and get up this hill, and I'm going to try and use my gun depression. Um, come back 370 there on the HE, and I'm just backing up. And I do start making some mistakes. In a minute, I've just tried snapshot in there, um, because I really wanted to get that shot. And he is backing up, so we're just going to back up, and we're going to try and use... Uh, the ridge on here and our gun depression to our advantage but now it's four versus six and uh, we do get a nice shot there 366 and he can't uh, get a shot back into me so he's going to run away and as he is moving uh, directions we are going to get another round into the into his turret he's now on 460 damage uh, hp sorry so we're going to get one more shot into him and this is where i make my first error i decide to drop down very bad move and then I miss like that was a bad bad miss um, so but we do manage to take him out it is a two on five situation we do take him out and again this is another error I make on this tank uh, there's four tanks left on the enemy now three of them were spotted in that middle so what I was actually thinking at the time is they are going to come around and my Indian Panzer there he is very low hit points so I just wanted to sort of help him out uh, but what I should have done is just kept going round uh, because I'm just waiting for all the tanks to come together uh, there we have the M103 uh, we are going to get spotted in a minute by uh, a panther that is going to come behind us uh, but I've got nothing the M103 is there he's not capping someone else is capping so I now know there is two people at in the base area so here comes the panther we do get one shot into him the m103 now kills our indian so it's just me versus four um and i've used my repair kit so i can't uh repair myself and i'm just getting absolutely wrecked now but are you 251 at the back is shooting me and i sh this is what i said i should have just pushed around uh but instead i just waited and waited and because of that three tanks then was come to uh, come together so i do manage to kill the t-34 but again there is still a full not a full health but a healthy m103 and an ru251 who i know is around this area so as i've just pushed around uh, we are going to get then spotted by the m103 uh, any second now basically full health we do get a bounce lucky bounce uh, but we bounce on, on him as well. The replay file here is a bit uh, messed up. There's the RU. I'm trying to get an easy shot into the RU, which I can't. Uh, and now I'm just, I'm a one shot. So there is nothing really I can do. There's no chance of me winning. I do get one final shot there in on the M103 before I get taken out by the RU, I think. Yeah, the RU does take me out. But we do finish on 4.9k damage. Uh, but I could have done much, much better. This time we're going to watch Fakir Fukun. Fakir Fukun. And he's going to play it uh, much better. Uh, it is uh, an encounter battle and he is pushing left. And he has a great battle. He really does have a great battle. Um, the only bad thing I think about this tank is just like the T-54. Uh, but I think it's just majority of tier 9s to be honest. You do see a lot of tier 10. Um, so you do have to work extra hard in tier 10 than you do in tier 8 like we are here. So in a tier 8 battle, you can really, really dominate the, uh, the battle. Uh, especially on maps like this where you have, uh, on, on Normandy, where you have the, the ridges. And you can use the gun depression for your advantage. And he's getting some nice shots there in, on the WZ-120 and the IS-8. And he's still using this ridge. There's no point in him moving. Uh, most of the enemy team are in front of him. He does get a nasty shot from the back there. Somewhere at 550 damage. Which really did uh, hurt him. I'm not sure if it was that ISU to his right sort of. Or if there is another tank at the back. Uh, the object 704 I think. Uh, but now the IS-8 decides to, to move. Now the IS-8 has very troll armour. Uh, and he does get a bounce there. Now, here's that 120 who, for me, would probably be the main focus because he's a medium tank. Uh, he's got a nasty gun on him, and now, at the moment, he is uh, focusing on him. But he still needs to be careful because there is two TDs uh, up there. So as soon as he pokes, he, he could potentially get another shot from the TDs. So now he is going to push forward a little bit. The WZ-120 pokes back because 
the team, the red team, start pushing forward. He's going to now get a shot in on the IS-8. Uh, there is the T-54 lightweight that is going to run towards the T-34. Uh, so he's going to help and try and protect that T-34, uh, who unfortunately is just got set on fire. Uh, and now he's going to focus the IS-8. So it's a four on six, lovely bounce there. Here comes the Waffle who misses and Fakir uh, does manage to take the, out the IS-8. So he's now on 2,400 damage. Uh, he's blocked 980, uh, which is good because that would be him dead at the moment. Uh, there goes the lightweight. The 120 is a one shot, so he's going to rush in and he's going to get that shot into the rear. And now they have pulled it back to a four on three. There's still two TDs that were sat at the back. There's still a full HP VK45, which isn't the greatest tank in the game. Uh, in fact, it's pretty uh, a poor tank. It's not the it's not the best, and it's a tank that no one really plays. So the waffle pokes forward. He rushes forward, and of course, when there is a waffle in the open, people are going to start looking at him, uh, which is great for Fakir because he can get the shots off without anyone uh, paying attention to him. So there goes the waffle. It's a three on three, but he just manages to get that shot in on the VK. So it's now a two. Uh, three on two. Uh, the ISU is a two shot and there is an SU. I think that is still full hit points at the back. So he's going to rush the ISU. He's going to get one shot. He is going to get shot in return, which now makes him a one shot. But with the long reload of the ISU, the ISU decides just to basically give up and he does clear him for his fourth kill. And now it's just uh, three on two. An object 704 hasn't got a turret. So as long as his if he can get behind him, then it will be game over. But the T-30, I think, has gone AFK. Uh, so it's two on one. Uh, but because of that, the T-30 has actually taken the attention to of the Object 704, which allows Fakir to get behind him. Now, the IS-3 on his team is also a one-shot, so he does need to be very careful that this object doesn't turn around. Otherwise, it could be game over. And fair play to the object here. There is not a lot he can do at all. Um, with, with a medium like this behind, he does manage to get a shot in on the IS-3. So it is now a one versus one. But it's too little, too late for the object. And Fakir clears him for his fifth and final kill. 5,700 damage. Uh, nice ace there, Fakir. Thank you for sending me that in. And that is the AMX 31ER prototype. Lovely tank. Um, again, I'm not sure if it's worth the gold because it is quite a lot of gold. But if you do manage to get it, if you do buy it, you are getting yourself a great tank. I'm Easy69, guys. I'll catch you soon.